The Airscrew Company Limited, incorporating the Jiquid Company, was a British manufacturing company based in Surrey manufacturing propellers. Topic: History The Airscrew Company was established in Weybridge, Surrey, England in 1923 when John Dodds Titler bought the assets of Lang, Garnet and Company, otherwise known as the Lang Propeller Company of Riverside Works, Weybridge. Lang Propellers was based at Ham Moor Lane and at its peak supplied wooden propellers to nearly every aeroplane company in England. All Cock and Brown flew the Atlantic in a Vickers Vimy fitted with Lang propellers. A letter held at Chertsey Museum confirms this, and one of these four bladed propellers survives at Brooklyn's Museum. The Lang Company was absorbed into another aeronautical enterprise and vacated its works in Surrey. The company manufactured two blade wooden propellers for the early Spitfires, and Hurricanes Airscrew became a limited company in 1931, and by 1938 had formed Jiquid Limited as a joint venture between itself and Halila, Limited, of Bush House, London. The nominal capital of £36,000 was taken up between the Airscrew Co. and Halila. The board consisted of Mr. J. D. Titler, Chairman, Dr. H. C. Watts, co-designer of the Leitner Watts propeller, Mr. R. Bradfield, and Mr. F. T. Swan. Mr. Swan, who was a director of Halila Limited, joined the board of the Airscrew Co. Flight of the 9th of December 1937. The organization employed around 200 staff at a site in Ham Moor Lane, Adelstone. By the beginning of World War II, the company was also making wooden bladed ventilation fans and wind tunnels. Jiquid Limited, the subsidiary company, manufactured fully compressed wood for various purposes. An extremely light sandwich material which consists of expanded rubber between either plywood or a light alloy were also manufactured. Samples of this product 24 ins. SQ, weighing 52 OZS, were able to withstand a distributive load of 1.5 tons when supported at two edges. The properties of this material were those required in aircraft flooring, bomb doors, superstructures and bulkheads for motor torpedo boats. Wartime production requirements raised staff numbers to nearly 2,000 by 1945, and the company had its own Home Guard platoon, Fire Brigade and St. John's Ambulance sections. Post-war work Shepard Robson The architectural firm founded by Richard Shepard designed the Jiquid Bungalow in 1944 in response to the need for temporary housing in the post-war period and used materials such as stressed timber used in aircraft manufacture. The company diversified further and developed a wide range of products, notably aircraft and bus panels and bulkheads, transit containers, ventilating equipment and wind tunnels and most importantly laminate wood products, manufactured as Wayrock, and also glass fiber products. The company changed its name to the Airscrew Company and Jiquid Limited in 1950. The company was bought by Bryant and May Limited in 1957, shortly after J. D. Titler's death in April 1957. Under the terms of the agreement Bryant and May invested £500,000 in the company. Owen C. Mechie Chairman of British Aviation Services, Ltd. Mr. Frank Charles Lynham, FRAS, AFIRS, became managing director before joining the Airscrew Co. Lynham was with the firm of Metal Propellers Limited, of Croydon, Surrey, and the Airscrew section of the Ray. Airscrew was approached by Saunders Row in October, 1958 for a fan design for the senior N1 hovercraft. Under Bryant and May ownership two associated companies were created, Airscrew Wayrock Canada a chipboard making facility and Airscrew Fans Limited. The company then passed into Swedish control when Bryant and May merged into Swedish Match. In 1961 the company changed its name to Airscrew Wayrock Limited Wayrock being the trade title of their wood chipboard product. WJS King Smith, FRAS, became the managing director of the fan division until he retired. C. 
In 1966 Airscrew Wayrock Ltd., received an order for ten fans for the Anglo-French Concorde. These were required for cooling the electronic equipment on prototype aircraft and for ground testing work to meet the rigid requirements of the cooling specification. They were of a compact, lightweight, low noise, high efficiency type. The company was bought by the Howden Group in C.1971, developing a range of fans for cooling and extraction purposes. In 1986, the Weybridge site was sold, demolished and redeveloped and Airscrew moved to 111 Windmill Road, Sunbury-on-Thames. In December 1990 Airscrew Howden acquired Fraser Nash Defence Systems for an undisclosed sum, following Fraser Nash's entry into receivership. The Fraser Nash Defence Systems division was sold in 1996 to ML Aviation Marcel Labelle. Around this time Wayrock products were manufactured in Hexham, Northumberland and continue to be so since 1995 when Egger UK Limited acquired Wayrock Limited. The Airscrew Company became a principal subsidiary of the Air Technology Group of the UK and has since been absorbed into Amatec Inc.'s Aerospace and Defence Division based at the Windmill Road site producing AC and DC brushless, mixed flow, tube axial and vaniaxial fans, high pressure blowers, AC and DC brushless motors and drivex systems, build to print and custom subassemblies, electronic and fault sensing devices, electric heaters, switches and sensors. Airscrew products have been used in various locomotives such as the Gardermann high-speed train and the Eurostar train. See also Aerospace industry in the United Kingdom List of aircraft propeller manufacturers